Ball, y'all. How y'all doing? It's Friday night here, January twenty second, two thousand twenty one, and this is the Freakers Ball. Yes, indeed, live right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. dot com. Well, it's actually uh, the audio is there on RealLibertyMedia.com dot com and RLMRadio dot X Y Z. If you want a video these days, you got to go to Vaughn dot Live slash RealLibertyMedia, and you'll find the video right there where it is. Because uh, they uh, they quit allowing embeds over there on Vaughn for whatever reason, which is cool. That's cool. Right, fine by me. Still works just fine. Anyway, hey Moose Girl. Hey. How are you doing this evening? Hanging in there. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah. Always good to be. Well, maybe hanging out. Well, hanging out, hanging in, whichever kind of. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whatever hangs. <laughs> Doing the hang. Right, right, right. Anyway, what else can you do? I mean... I, I don't know. You know, do yeah. what I can do. <laughs> keep on keeping on. Good, good, good. Keep on trucking. Yeah. Right. To the doodah in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, here we are, once again, Friday night. Right, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, mostly, good. basically, yeah, I'm good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah, you? um, not sure really what to talk about at this point, but, um. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll get there, uh, um, how, how was your week at home? Anything exciting happen? No. Yeah, it's been a busy week here at the old Grim, Grim House. Yeah, uh, installing lights and <laughs> yeah, I know that's awesome. And and uh, putting new uh, caulking, whatever you want to call it, on the on the tub area. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, what else? I so did you have to did you have to wait to uh, let it dry out? The caulking. And then you, yeah, and you got to let oh, it dry no, it's, for it's, a while, right? It's a, it's a four hour. It's a four hour set. Oh, okay. That's yeah. not too bad then. Yeah, it's cool, man. It it uh it's um it's it's a uh, what do you, what do you call it? Silicone. Mhm. Yeah, it's Gorilla 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 brand. Oh, so, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and I I didn't do all of it. I got a lot more to do if I want to really finish it up, but Right. I, I just took care of the areas that were uh looking to be problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, hear I, I you. do. I do, Donna. <laughs> but but if I if further instruction is required, may I but may <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Funny. Oh boy. Um <laughs> Yeah, no, that was the easy you know, the uh the ceiling lights, that was the uh the tricky part uh in the kitchen. Right. There. Um uh, the, the one, the you one. Got them up, right? Yeah, yeah. I got both of them in there and okay. going. Good, yeah, good, good. Yeah, the, the one uh, had, had problem with the wires, and then the other one had a problem with with the board fitting in there. So, uh, but but they're in there, and they're 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 very. There's a lot of light, a lot of light in that that kitchen. Good. Uh, where, where it used to be, and then I yeah. then I then I replaced that pole lamp out in front. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was that. I feel like I did something else, but I, I can't recall what it is. <laughs> uh, I, it just seems like there was a lot of projects this week, and uh, yeah, for whatever All reason, those are good. Yeah, yeah, I guess you know stuff needs to be done. It's a house, so you when you get a house, right? You, you gotta you gotta do stuff from time to time. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. No, well, that's part of it. It is, you know, the the loveliness of home ownership. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I have the same problem. Like it's not the same problem, but in my shower, it leaks where the faucet meets the shower wall. Oh. So Matt has to put silicone on there. Yeah, yeah. And he's saying it's got to be dry for twenty four hours. I'm like, really? Well, yeah, it's got to be dry before you do it. Right. But, right. But then after after you do it, it depends on the curing time of whatever. Uh, product, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Whatever know what kind have. we have. So it's probably not Gorilla Glue kind, but yeah, well, Gorilla brand. I, yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, but it's starting to get worse, and the you know water leaks never get. Yeah, better. no, you don't. You don't want that. You, you got to take no. care of that right away, or else it'll yeah. get, it'll get into the drywall, and then you're then you got right. No, pull. this is on the. It goes down to the floor. Like the, it doesn't affect the wall because there's a shower surround. Well, it might go through. The, yeah, I hear what you're saying. It could yeah. be going through there too. Oh, but. It's, a, it's a surround. Yeah, and it drips uh, okay. down into the basement though. When it leaks, it leaks down into the basement. Well, it should, you should have a pan that below this this surround that catches all that water and routes it to the drain. Unless there's a no, hole. No, in... it's 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 the where you where you uh, where the water comes out. From the shower the head? Salt. From the shower no, head? The salt for the tub. Oh. Where okay. the water comes out before you pull the thing to make the shower come on. Uh huh. That part is not attached to the shower wall. Okay. It's just like loose there. Or it's not it's it's attached, but it's there's there's no caulking or anything there, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. So when you turn the shower on and it drips a little bit. It goes, it hits that spot and just goes right down to the basement. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not a, a big leak. I mean, obviously, it's not like gushing water or anything. <laughs> That's good. A slow <laughs> leak, a slow drip thing, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to explain. It's, All right. Well, but anyway, I, yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, fix that. Anyway, it's always something. It, it is always something, you know. It's never. Yeah. It's never nothing. <laughs> oh, no, it isn't. Yeah. Oh boy. But other than that, everything's okay. Good. That's good. Yeah. Good to hear. And the uh, and gas prices went up, but now they came down a little bit today. Yeah. But uh, I don't. Well, know. we'll see how that all goes. I think they're, I think they're going to continue to climb. Yeah. Uh, you may have a few dips here and there, but uh, overall, I think gas prices are going to continue to climb until yep. you, until you're at least five dollars. I'm thinking maybe seven, seven bucks yeah. a gallon. Yeah. Uh, Holy uh, crap! Uh, well, you know these 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 new morons uh, keep, <laughs> keep keep on spouting the line. Well, we got to get rid of fossil fuels. It's just right. like, well, that's kind of what everything's running on. So. Right. Probably. Well, you gotta, prob- and you got to replace it with something. You can't just go get rid of it without having something to replace it, right? Right, right, right. Well, you know, I, it's like the first thing he did when he got in there, which yeah. I, I'm sure it was because of uh, people that had donated to him or whatever, he uh, mm-hmm. shut, shut down the key, Keystone XL pipeline. Right. So uh, that, that was like the first thing he did, you know. It was like. Yep. So, yeah, you knew at that point, you know, that. That that's a that's a bad omen, <laughs> as far as as yeah. far as as far as fuel prices go. As far as the prices go, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know, we all we all need the uh, the Larry coils to uh, to run everything. Yeah, that would be nice. Get but on they it, don't Larry. allow that, right? What's that? They don't allow that. Why? Well, yeah. They won't get well. But <laughs> it's complicated, I'm sure. But yeah, yeah. You know. They don't make it easy on people that have good ideas if you're not one of them. No, no. They, and they don't want you to be one of them. They want to own no, they, right. they, they want to own the means of production. So. Oh, I think it's going to be much more than that, Java. Well, free is coming. Yeah. Free, free will be coming. Free next week. But yeah. in two months, it's going to be five. In four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, it's going to go up. So. Okay. Yeah. So. Larry is missing in action, so. Well, I've seen him on Facebook. He he posted on Facebook like a day ago. Oh, okay. Well, I guess so, he's just not opening his wire. Probably not. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I messaged him on Facebook one time, and he got right back to me. Oh, well, tell, I'm sure tell Rob him. Rob doesn't have Facebook. So. Just, just, just tell him Rob's looking for him. Yeah, I, could, I will. Yeah. If I see that he's on there. Yeah. He is on there. Oh, whatever. He's, he, uh, yeah. I don't keep my wire open either. I use it when I use it, and then I close it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. yeah, anyway, there we go. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 
Oh, he doesn't keep his wire open. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but he is a cool guy. I mean, yeah, no, really Larry's, Larry's, Larry's a good guy, man. No doubt about it. He's he's got a he's got a sharp sharp mind on that old guy. Yeah. So anyway, so um, anyway. yeah, that's what we're gonna we're gonna need some of that stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> what stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, this yeah that, kind that, of thing Larry has, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. Something you know. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, imagine a car-sized one of those coils, you know, instead of the home-sized right. one. Yeah. Yeah. I it. mean, I remember the seventies, like seventy-seven, seventy-eight, when yeah. there was lines for gas. Right. Gas the gas in. shortage. Yeah. The late seventies. Yep. 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 I oh, remember yeah. that. That's what it, it'll probably come to that. A and, little then, bit. and then they got into all those, you know. Uh, you had to go on certain days of the week or whatever. Right. Or, and, <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was you know, miles long lines and prices were right. oh, well, prices were crazy for that amount. That time it was like a dollar or something. <laughs> wind turbine wind turbine vines are okay, but they kill a lot of birds. They're not the most ideal. And those blades that they use. Yeah. They're made out of, like, fiberglass. And these things are freaking gigantic, right? Yeah. And you can't, they're, they're not as cost effective. They sound like a great idea. It sounds like an awesome idea. Let's use wind. But people don't think it all the way through, and they they don't know the whole story when it comes to wind turbines. Right. I'm well, just saying, they, you know, they, they, they're they not... Did. They did Go just uh, they did just come up with a new composite blade for those. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah, and uh, I guess they're longer blades. So is that, that good, better or worse? Well, it's know. better. It's better for energy generation, obviously. Um, right. Yeah. So. So it's better for yeah. And okay, and, but... and and also the the blades will last longer. Um, so you know, there's a big right. problem right now. They got to always go out there and replace those blades all the time. Yeah, and that's the problem. They break, and then they're super expensive. And then Rob's saying they they don't produce as much as they cost to make, and that's I get that. And then <laughs> you have to have a windy day. I mean, well, which the, usually the, there's wind, but yeah, the, there's a big wind farm near here, very near here, and okay, uh, there's a lot of wind up here. Uh, yeah, all well, the time. yeah. And, and you know, there's a lot of vacant land out here too. So right, uh, right. Yeah, it's a great, great place. But I it? just don't think. They're the answer. They are not the answer. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. that'd be great if you have, a, a, you know, a one for your house or something like that. You could just, you A know, small one. Yeah, just well, just big enough to run your house because you, you have to... Uh, right, know. not these gigantic ones that you see everywhere, you know, yeah, in well, places. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how much it would take to run a house, but whatever. Um, I don't know either. <laughs> you know, you just got to keep the batteries charged, whatever. And the problem with solar, too, is you have to have sun. Right, and those panels wear out, too. Right. Yeah, so. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the answer is. Yeah. You don't really want nuclear power because you can't get rid of the waste. Well, uh, not with there's the there's no safe way to just not not, not with the kind of, not with the kind of power they're using, but but there's right there's other kinds of nuclear power that are safe that they won't use for whatever reason. Right. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why they they don't uh, like things that make too much sense. That, that uh, no, I know. They they want they want to be able to continually make money, and and so that 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 might prevent them somehow from continually making money. I don't know. Right. And also, there's the old guard that you know they like they they're making a ton of money off their oil, so uh, they, right. they they don't want to let that go. That's for sure. Um, anyway, let's, yeah. play, let's let's hear some jams here. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in, everyone, on this yeah. Freaky Friday. Welcome to the Freakers Ball, y'all. By the way, anybody out there listening, if you're not over here in the chat, come on over, say hi and howdy and all that stuff to all the yeah, folks man. here in the chat. We got a bunch of great folks over here, as always. Yeah, man. This is not REM. <laughs> okay. <laughs> some nice stuff. All right. That was a full-on cover set. 
Yes, indeed. That uh, last track there was Jeff Beck with Amelda May uh, singing Remember, Walking in the Sand. Uh, you may remember that song from Aerosmith covering it. Uh, yeah, Aerosmith covered it. They didn't write it. That's a Shangri-La song, an old uh, early 60s dude. Uh, yeah, remember Walking in the Sand. Uh, before that, Greta Van Fleet covering David Bowie's Gene Genie. And uh, that, that and that's a that's a trippy song too, man. That's a that that's that's yeah. that's a wild song. Uh, anyway, we kicked it off with Leo Maraccioli covering REM. It's the end of the world as we know it. And uh, I, I don't know if you're listening uh, at the end of uh, that Leo track. There, he's talking yeah. about uh, you know this is the end of 2019. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. We're gonna have a great 2020. We're gonna be touring all right. over the place. Yeah, Leo. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Leo. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. No, no, not much did though. You know, no, uh, it didn't. It, uh, it was not a year of of people doing things they enjoyed doing. You know? No, no, no. They 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 no. said they said you want to have fun. Too bad. Too bad. So sad. Screw all your fun. You're having no Deadly fun. Deadly virus. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. or something along those lines, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. And it's not getting better. <laughs> it, well, no. No, 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 no. no, they want a national mask mandate for 100 days or something. Oh, but but they will um, tell you, they will tell you that the, va the, the, that the, the virus is going away now that, now that there's a new idiot in the, in the, in the Oval Office. Oh really? Yeah, the new new pet um, Yeah. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, Blight Blight Blight. I can't even, can't even say his name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, that horrible weirdo freak pedo guy. Yeah. Pedodent. <laughs> Pedodent. Yes. Right. Oh, oh, he's creepy. He is creepy. That's why they call him Creepy Joe. Yep. <laughs> so, um... Look at, look at Beth bragging there, talking about how she saw R.E.M. seven times. Oh, okay. Bragger. Cool. Bragger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never saw R.E.M. Uh, <laughs> I never did either, so... So you're, you're seven up on me. Thanks for us. Seven up. Yeah, it does suck for us, really. I, I, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but let me tell you, let me tell you what I saw today. Now, you can believe it or not, whether or not you want to believe it. Okay. <laughs> uh, because uh, supposedly this uh, virus, air quotes virus, um, mm -hmm. has killed 400,000 people in the U.S. 400,000. Okay. Which is, of course, nonsense. But but that's, that's the numbers they're telling you. Who's telling you? Oh, Johns Hopkins. Yeah, that's who's telling you. Right. Yeah. Like they can be trusted. So that's why I say take this next thing here with some grain of salt because they're also okay. involved okay. in this. Uh, on the, on fee.org, the Foundation for Economic Education. Mm-hmm. Unemployment during the pandemic expected to cause 900,000 U.S. deaths. New economic okay, study. Okay, right. So, yeah, the, a new National Bureau for Economic Research paper projects 890,000 uh, additional deaths may result over the next 15 years from actions taken to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. Uh, the the toll of the coronavirus has been severe, but a new study has found that the collective response to the virus may ultimately claim more lives than the virus itself. In a new National Bureau for Economic Research paper, researchers from Harvard, Johns Hopkins, and Duke, so Johns Hopkins only got a third here, mm -hmm. so these other two are probably more uh, trustworthy than Johns Hopkins, of course. Then again, who isn't? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so in, in the, <laughs> the new paper, uh, they said that many deaths over the next 15 years, uh, stemming from the actions taken to mitigate the, the spread of the phony virus, 
Um, our results suggest that the total of lives claimed by SARS-CoV-2 virus far exceeds those immediately related to acute COVID-19 critical illness, and that the recession caused by the pandemic recession, the massive depression, the hyperinflation, uh, not caused by the virus at all, but caused by the gunerant uh, doing what they've done, um, uh, can jeopardize population health for the next two decades. Specifically, the researchers cite unemployment spikes from lockdowns and other government restrictions that were two to five times larger than typical unemployment shocks. We predict that the shock will disproportionately affect African Americans and women over a short horizon. Uh, the researchers said white men might suffer large consequences over a longer horizon. Hey, we're lucky, uh, uh, all you white men out there. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm only half white, so I'm only half lucky. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. So, so white guys, white guys live a little, uh, little, live a little longer. I don't know if that's lucky or not in this world, but uh, there you go. Um, uh, so the findings uh, should not be surprising. Rising unemployment has long been correlated with higher death rates. A 1979 study concluded that for every 10 percent increase in unemployment, mortality increased by 1.2 percent. For this reason, social scientists, whatever they, that is, have long argued that unemployment and economic growth are essential components of a healthy society. Um, economic growth is the single most important factor relating to the length of life, said Yale School of Medicine professor uh, Harvey Brenner in 2002 following completion of a pivotal study exploring the relationship between unemployment and mortality. Employment is the essential element of social status, and it establishes a person as a contributing member of society. Oh, you lucky contributors. And also have a very important implications for self-esteem. Uh, the Yale study findings are not unique. In a 2014 article, a, in Harvard Public Health Magazine points out an abundance to an abundance of research uh, that reaches a similar conclusion. Employment disruptions come with severe costs to mental and physical health. Uh, the body of research includes the 2011 meta-analysis published by Social Science and Medicine that concluded the mortality risk was 63% higher for individuals who experienced unemployment than those who did not. That's a big number, 63%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, you unemployed people, you're, uh, you're, you're not looking that well. Uh, there is a multitude, are a multitude of reasons for mortality risk increases during periods of unemployment, but the primary reason appears to be that unemployment literally makes people sick. How you feeling out there? Hmm. Y'all doing all right? You feeling all right? You got the uh, COVID unemployment blues? <laughs> COVID unemployment blues? Uh, a, a, a 2009 study by sociologist Kate W. Strelly in the journal Demography concluded that losing employment from a business closure increased by more than 80% the risk of new health conditions. So even if you don't die, good chance you're not going to do well. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that, 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 that's, you know, there's more to it, but uh, right. you, you get the idea. It's a bunch of stats showing you it ain't, it ain't, it ain't working well. It ain't working well. Uh, oh, all right. No, uh, it isn't. No. Rest well there, Java Doctor. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, anyway, I just want to talk about this really quickly. All right, um, go ahead. Hank Aaron died. Yeah. 86 years old. Yeah. He was one of my faves. I'm, I'm old time baseball. Um, he played in Eau Claire for a little while. Um, as, as an amateur. With, as an amateur. Yeah. Well, they were like a farm team for the Brewers, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, oh, he okay. did play in Eau Claire like two years, I think. All right. But there's a big, there's a, not a big, but there's a statue, like a bust on a like little stand, a stand mm -hmm. in front of Carson Park. And um, he was one of the first Negroes to play in the, in the National Leagues. Right. He had, a, he had a nickname, too. What was his nickname? Hammer and Hank. Hammer and Hank. Hammer and Hank. All right. 
<laughs> yep. Yeah. And, um, he was just a great guy in real life, too. He, not in real life, but, you know, baseball players aren't like actors, but um, he was a civil rights activist. He um, was really, everyone that talks about him has nothing but good to say about this man. I mean, yeah, he no, was a class act all the way. Um, so R.I.P. Yeah, Karen. Here, what, yeah, what, it sucks. What's what's that? What's that sign that one guy does? He kisses his finger. Who's that guy? He puts, uh, kisses his fingers, puts them up to the sky. I'm not sure. Some Dominican player, I forget his name. Ortiz. <laughs> might have been, yeah, it might have been him. I think David he was, Ortiz. He was yeah, like a, a Yankee or something like that. So. He put a. He has a uh, Twitter. He put something on Twitter or something today yeah. about about him. Yeah, he seems like a good guy too. Uh, yeah, know. he does. I, he I, is. I, I, yeah. I don't really know too much about him, but I, I know he he does that thing, and it's for his like it's for his mother, I think. Is that what he does? Yeah, that charity something. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right. I'm not good. sure, but oh, yeah, he played when he played here. It was the Eau Claire Bears, okay. and actually, him and Bob Euchre are really good friends. Bob Euchre. <laughs> and Bob Euchre played here too in Eau Claire, so they've known each other a long time. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Just a bit outside. Uh, yeah. That's from, from Major League, right? <laughs> yep, yep. That's one of my favorite baseball movies. I swear to fucking God, I love that movie so much. Like uh, you, you Major can, League can, is yeah. one of the best ever. Yeah, Yuka is funny guy, man. <laughs> yeah, he's he's in there. He's pretty funny. He plays like the he's getting drunk the whole time. He's re, you know, yeah, yeah, announcing yeah. The, the the game. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Cleveland. and my son Zach, when he's got glasses on and his hair is short, he looks like Wild Thing. Oh, does he? In his baseball <laughs> stuff. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I, I, I only realized that uh, like a couple of years ago. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it looks like that. Oh, but anyway, I also wanted to talk about. Well, I, I saw this before. Just as we were starting the show. Okay. And this is January 21st, 2021. Let me... Here, yes, today. Oh, yeah, so, yes, All right. Okay. Anyway. U.S. military convoy enters northeast Syria. Report. Lovely. A convoy of 40 trucks and armored vehicles have said to have entered Syria from Iraq. A large U.S. military convoy entered northeastern Syria on Thursday. Syrian state news agency SANA reports citing sources on the ground. According to the report, the convoy included some 40 trucks and armored vehicles and was backed from the air by helicopters. Wow. It entered Syria from Iraq via the Al-Walid crossing to bring arms and logistical, logistical equipment to the bases in Hasaka and Dior Ezor provinces. Other local media report that such maneuvers are not unusual as the U.S. often moves transfer equipment between Iraq and Syria. At the same time, Sana also reports that some 200 U.S. troops arrived in the Hasaka province on helicopters. According to the report, the troops are set to deploy on the nearby oil fields with Kurdish-controlled eastern Syria rich in energy resources. Yeah, I steal that oil. Yep. So there you go. That just well, that was yesterday, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not on mainstream. I mean, I don't know what this I twenty four news is. I've never heard of them before. But that's yeah, I don't what know where the story was. Yeah. That yeah. I saw, but they don't talk about that on your mainstream or local news. No, no, and they certainly will never mention that. That the U.S. is, uh, you know, goes after countries that Israel wants them to go after, right? And and Israel's been trying to get. And Israel probably wanted Biden too. Oh, ab- absolutely, yeah, because they because they knew they couldn't get the wars they needed from Trump. Right. <laughs> okay, well, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, just wonderful. All right. So anyway, there's this uh, there's this uh, vaccine stuff going on out there. And, yeah. And they're really pushing it hard, and they really want yep. people to go out there and and get that vaccine. And, yep. and well, if you live in a certain place, you know, you might just uh, reconsider, depending on who you are. Now, I would not reconsider, and you would not reconsider. No, we're not getting it, but a lot of people no. would. And, and and what 
what incentive might drive people like money or jab uh, privileges jabs for joints free okay free free bag of weed with your covid vaccine oh my god in dc so oh, if you live in the cool. hellhole called dc and you and you like weed and you were saying, oh, I'm not going to bother with that stupid vaccine. They say, oh, I can get some free weed. Yeah, I'm on there. Get me, get me on down there. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so just, just when you thought this narrative has reached rock bottom, mm -hmm. they descend even lower. Apparently. Uh, after selling the public on the idea that the vaccine will somehow liberate the people from the authoritarian COVID-19 lockdowns imposed by the state, Government and public health officials are now desperately trying to process, process, <laughs> like you're a piece of meat, process as many people as possible through their new vaccine conveyor belt system. But many young people also are aware that they are statistically near zero risk of ever falling ill from coronavirus. Right. An inconvenient fact, which... Uh, <laughs> which government and its media partners are actively trying to obscure now. Apparently, the new experimental mRNA genetic vaccine cocktail is so unpopular, the health workers have resorted to bribing the youth with recreational drugs in order to get them to take it. Unbelievable. Uh, well, you wish it was, but to me, it's like, it's not unbelievable. <laughs> I'm totally, I'm, I'm just, uh, I read this headline, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> well, well, what are they going to, you know, uh, however, I doubt I doubt they'll be handing out, like, you know, for people that like guns or something like that, they're not going to give you a gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> however alarming news about the safety of the experimental product is now coming out, including new reports from Norway, where investigators are looking into the deaths of at least 23 elderly patients. I think we talked about that last week. We did, yep. Of the Pfizer-BioNTech mRNA vaccine, where adverse reactions, including fever, nausea, and diarrhea, uh, <laughs> appear to have followed the administration of the much-celebrated jab. Now, don't laugh at diarrhea, because people die from diarrhea. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, lots of people have. And um, a Java doctor, he said his wife, she works at a hospital there yeah. uh, in uh, Cleveland. Uh, he said that uh, since they started pumping out the vaccines, tons of people, hundreds of people are uh, yeah. are coming back in all messed up from the vaccine. So right. That, that, that's, and... a, that's a real world uh, report right here at Real Liberty Media in the chat. So, right. Yeah. And just on a side note, speaking of Hank Aaron, they did mention in the article that he did receive the COVID-19 vaccine two and a half weeks before he died. Right. So definitely, probably, so, definitely, probably likely a contributing factor. Right. Probably. But, you know, when, when they're 80 or older, they're like, oh, well, they were old anyway. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> the The doctor in Miami was 53 or something. You know, yeah, right. That died two weeks after he got the COVID nineteen vaccine. Oh, sure, yeah. You know, the, the thing that I'm waiting for is all the all the mutations that people are going to wind up with. Right, the neurological disorders that people have, oh. like the Gardasil. Neurological, physiological. Uh, yep. Just physical. I mean, there, there's going to be physical, things. Your physical health will be affected. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, this goes on to say, despite very real safety concerns. Over the controversial pharmaceutical product, woke local growers in Washington, D.C. area have already pledged three pounds of cannabis uh, for to support this social engineering scheme. Now, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how many people they're trying to work in there or how much weed you get uh, if you go and get a, you, this poison pumped into you. But yeah. with three pounds ain't got to go very far if you're each giving, you know, if you're like giving everybody a quarter ounce or something. Uh, that that's not going to yeah. last very long. I, I don't like I said. I don't know. Uh, maybe they don't expect a lot of people, or maybe this is just first round or uh, three pounds. That's nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Well, not not for a, not, you know, 
if they're expect, a lot of people. You know, if they're expecting thousands of people to come down and get poisoned for for weed. Um, right. That that uh, that's just that's just. Uh, yeah, it's not. Wow. Right. <laughs> it's not. It's not. They're right. pulling all those stops to get all, as many people as they can to get this thing. Yeah, they are. They are. And it's like that's when I know that I should not do it. Right. 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 And they're oh. trying to keep this hush hush, but. We have knowledge for firsthand from an actual hospital in Cleveland. They're reporting people are coming back from that fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah, and, you don't, you don't, you know, that's a, yeah, it's messed right. up. Right. And that's not an article, that's like a firsthand. Firsthand account. report, yep, firsthand report. Job, job and um, I don't know, I, I don't trust them enough. I, mean, I I didn't say it last week, or I, I think I did, which they already had this thing ready to go. Oh, yeah. The Operation we, Warp Speed thing. Bullshit, dude. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. We talked about the Rothschilds and patented this crap yep. uh, years ago. Yep. Years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, on a total side note, side street, mm -hmm. taking a total left turn here. Okay. I came across this today, and it sounded very interesting. Um, this is on a website called dailyhodl.com hodl h o d l as in uh, the way you spell hold in crypto <laughs> okay cuz we've been talking about xrp here uh, on uh, a little yeah, bit yeah, oh, in the know, chat you oh, guys oh, oh, yeah oh, in the chat in the chat over the time yeah so here it is so if you don't have any this might be the time to get some not only is the price nice and low right now but Second airdrop coming to XRP holders. It's uh, and the latest on yield flare. So uh, a little known second airdrop is on the way to holders of XRP who are already set to receive the highly anticipated Spark token airdrop from Flare Networks. I won't get the Spark because I bought it like two three days too late to get the Spark airdrop, but I should get this one. So in in December the Ripple back Ripple backed crypto startup Flare executed a snapshot of participating XRP holders uh, uh, and distributed the Spark FLR token uh, to them at a rate of uh, 1.073 Spark per XRP. In total, Flare is set to distribute 45 billion, I guess, yeah, 45 billion Spark tokens to XRP holders. Uh, the token is a part of a new smart contract ecosystem that is designed to bring Ethereum-type functionality to the XRP ledger. Um, now, Flare Finance, which is built on the Flare blockchain and designed to power swaps, stable currency, yield farming, asset back loans, insurance, and yield mining, plans to offer those same participants another airdrop. I hope it's not the same ones from back then. I hope they do it for newer ones like me. Uh, Anyway, the, the company says it will airdrop DAO Flare uh, token DFLR uh, to users who receive Spark. So I guess I won't get it. Oh, well. Uh, DFLR holders can then swap those tokens for Yield Flare, Flare Finance official token. All right. I didn't read all the way through this when I first read it. But I won't get it. But I do know others here that will get the, uh, I, the yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the, oh, the Flare, it says it already happened. Well, this says it's coming. Um Okay. Well, you yeah that you yeah, I don't know because yeah. that whole article you were speaking like a foreign language to me. <laughs> <laughs> Airdrop flare. I don't fucking know any of that oh, shit is. I really yeah. don't. <laughs> well, I I do know that I'm a, not a crypto person. I just never got on that. I do I do know that the uh, the Bitcoin Gold Airdrop bought me the computer that I'm using right now. So okay. Um, and it was free. It was all free money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I anyway, just don't know what it means. I'm, I'm not. It just means if you already own whatever token, what? token or token or coin that that, mm -hmm. that they're trying to ride the back of, uh, they'll give you some of their coin free. Okay. On uh, for however much you have. Um, on that. Anyway, well, it says XRP holders, so I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. 
I kind of, I kind of read what it said there, but anyway. <laughs> Wait, right. I'm just yeah. Yeah, we're gonna play some more jams here. All uh, right. And then, then we'll come back and uh, and and uh, talk about more crap. Yeah, more fun stuff, man. It's the end of the world as oh, we yeah. know it. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I feel <laughs> fine. This is deep purple. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. That there was Blondie, Deborah Harry, and the band. Um, that was a Moose Girl request there, by the way. Uh, Blondie, one way or another. And before that, we had Carlos Santana with his brother, Jorge Santana, the uh, Steve Miller man, and Ry Cooter uh, doing Why Can't We Live Together. Cowboy Tech request there. And we kicked it off with Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. Smoke on the water! <laughs> yeah. Everyone awake out there. Yeah, You're Larry. still with us. We're still here. No, this is not a music show. <laughs> well, it's hat. It's well, hat. hat. Yeah. No, it's talking in between the to- in music in between the talking portions. Right, right, right. Uh, anyway, let's see. That was a six and eight. It's 14 and three. Uh, 17 minutes. That's how long that break was. So it wasn't that it wasn't that much, you know, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it happens, you know. Longer songs every now and then. It, we usually keep it to like five minutes or less with good audio. Per song. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Generally, generally, yeah. Five five minutes is a good length of song. Um but you know, sometimes right. Sometimes we do go longer. I mean, we've 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 played. Uh, How long are our breaks normally? I don't know. They they vary. I, I don't okay, know. a but ballpark. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, probably. Yeah, yeah. For that three, was twenty minutes. It was seventeen minutes. So seventeen, yeah. close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyhow, uh, whatever. It's okay. You know. I, yeah. I'm just I, saying, I thought we were more talk than music, but... Yeah, we, we are. We we get about uh, two to one. Two to one is the average ratio of uh, our shows. We get about two hours of talk to, to one hour of music. Um, okay. So I, I, that's that's typical for, for us. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure of the breakdown on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't sit here in time to freaking, you know what I mean? I I don't either, generally. Break or anything. (laughs) Except for the last one, you know, where where I've got to get it timed in there exactly. Right, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I can understand that one. The last one, you have to time it out. Yeah, whatever. We we play what we play and we talk what we talk. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm... I'm still thinking about Bill Gates owning all this farmland, right? Yeah. It's not sitting well with me. Or me. Or Clyde. If Clyde ain't sitting too well with Clyde, that's for sure. No, it isn't. Um, And whatever he's wanting to do, it can't be good. No, no. He's up to no... Well, of course he's up to no good. He's a eugenicist. Yeah. And his dad was, too. Right. And he is not a doctor... At least he might he might have a doctorate degree in college. I don't know. I, I can find that out right now. Bill Gates? No, he's no freaking doctor. I didn't think so. <laughs> no, he ain't no freaking doctor. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay, I just don't want to be doing misinformation. He's Wikipedia says American business magnet magnet. Magnate. Software developer, developer, and philanthropist. Software stealer. Right. And, and eugenicist. He's best known as co-founder of Microsoft Corporation. And eugenicist. Software stealer and eugenicist. Right. They don't put that <laughs> in there, though. They, they call him a philanthropist. I'm just looking it up quick, Beth. I, 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 uh, fuck Wiki. It's not like I rely on them for information. Fuck no. But yeah. I'm not going to look up Bill Gates' site. No, You know, no. Britannica, that's just as bad. Oh uh, yeah, this is this is brave. This is Duck Duck Go too. This is like well, I can go to GeeksNotes dot com, Biography dot com, 
Fox versus, you know, CNN. Yeah, so uh, you, need to, you need to go to someplace like whatreallyhappened.com or... Right, right. One, one you know, I mean, but when I'm doing my show, I need to look up something quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, what the ever, whatever. You know, you can, we can go too far. We can get too freaking picky about all this shit. Well, you, if you post a Fox News link, that means you watch Fox News. No, that's not the case. No. <laughs> right, It's right. good to know what they're saying sometimes. It's oh, good to know what they're up to. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to you got to you got to pay attention. You got to watch that. Right. And I don't watch freaking Well, yeah, because I'm doing a show. I'm in the middle of a broadcast. And I I didn't want to fucking I wanted to see if he was a doctor. I just wanted to verify that he was not a doctor. Yeah. And for the for the cuz we're in the middle of a show, I looked it up. Yeah, that's you gotta do that sometimes. And I'm pretty sure this this part's right. He was born October twenty eighth, nineteen fifty five, in Seattle, Washington. He went to Harvard, but he dropped out. He was a software developer. Obviously, it's wiki, so they left out the part that Grimm added, being the eugenesis, right? Right, right, and not a doctor. <laughs> We're calling out wiki right there. Why yeah. didn't you put that in there? You know, right. which Good. maybe they even did it, you know, I can't, oh. I don't have time to read it while I'm online. And I, this is not like CNN, and I seriously, I do zero prep for this show before I start this show. Well, that's kind of light. What? <laughs> Since that's kind of light. What do you mean? Uh, it's, it's zero, zero. You yeah. do yeah. prep. <laughs> I, I do prep, I do prep, I prep all week for this show. Right, but I don't. Yeah. I'm just saying. I, I mean, I just fly up to see them in my pants, and it seemed, it seemed to work for 13 years. So Yeah, no, it's great. We, we got a, a good chemistry here, and we got a good show. We do, we do. And, you know, and I don't always know what I'm going to talk about. I didn't know I was going to talk about Bill. Well, I kind of did because the whole farming, him owning all this farmland in the U.S. doesn't sit well with me. No, it okay? shouldn't. It should not. And so what I want, what I would like to do, instead of always being so negative and talking about all the bad shit that's out there, is how do we fucking avoid, how do we get around this dude? How do we, like, not support him? How do we, and I think the answer is we're going to have to go back to having family and community farms. Yeah, well, everybody should have, you know, their own, you know, grow their own in their in their own yards if you can. So, right. I I I don't know. I I just think it's gonna take, you know, yeah, Monsanto and Bear, Bear Monsanto, whatever they they Monsanto or Bear bought Monsanto or the other way around. Like, so yeah, they Bear changed their name. Bear bought Monsanto. Yeah, that's right. They probably thought got sick of Monsanto. Probably got sick of being called Monsatan. <laughs> so like, well, let's just change our name to Bear then. Yeah, yeah that, but that, we didn't, you didn't fool us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, Bear is well known for being a eugenicist corporation as well. Right. Yeah. And so, <laughs> whatever is going on, it cannot be good. Um, but, you know, GMOs are not a new thing. No, certainly not. And, because, and just just yeah, being GMO doesn't make it bad. But No, the way, the I way, admit it, genetically modified. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make it bad. At all, but uh, the, the way they do it, it does. With with their, yes, because they add chemicals and shit to it. All that, and you know, with their Terminator genes, where that makes it so that nobody else can can uh, use seed or uh, spread seed that was spread to their land. Um, what do you mean? Like, explain that. Better. Well, the, 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 their seeds they put into them a Terminator gene gene. Which what means, do you mean by well, you, they can only produce one time? Right. They, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They don't keep. Okay, I get you. Okay. Right. And, and so, um, and then also, if they they also have genetic markers uh, placed right. into the, to their to all of their seed. So if their seed, uh, if somebody, if a farmer next door is growing their gen, uh, Monsanto plants, not using Monsanto seed, and the wind blows some of that seed onto your property. Yeah. You're now growing their property, and they can sue you. And they, what? And, okay. No, no, no. Like, no, you no, can no, control they, that. They you know? have, and they have sued many people. 
That's, for, that's the just so they could buy them out or, or put them under, right? Right. Make them go yeah. Off. yeah. Yeah. And then they could, could take that line. They can't afford the same kind of lawyers or whatever. Oh, nobody can. Yeah. Right. No, no one can. And they they have a whole team of lawyers. They have oh. like twenty lawyers that come show up at court. They got hundreds of lawyers. Hundreds. One lawyer. Yeah. yeah. Hundreds <laughs> of lawyers. Right. Um, you know, because they're being sued all over the place all the time. Right. 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 Because they do all that nasty shit. I mean. You know, it's not it's not just the freaking pesticides that'll kill you. Uh, no, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> but they I do mean, all they do all kinds yeah. of bad things. You know, they're basically going for a global uh, monopoly on various right. things. And uh, yes, of correct. course, of course, Bear is heavily involved in all the the big pharma stuff too. Right. Um, so I, I mean, they're they're just greedy, na- greedy ass nasty yeah. people. Um, they're evil. They're evil. I mean, yeah. think about it. Okay. Fuck up the food with all these chemicals to make people their stomach, their digestive system will be fucked up, right. or their neurological system will be fucked up, right. or their veins, their, their um, what do they call that? Fuck, I can't think of it now. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so something's fucked up in you, right? Yeah. So then that's where big pharma comes in. Oh. You have uh, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Here you go. Here's this pill you can take. Oh, and the the last side effect they list when they're rattling them off, right? All the side effects. Right. Oh, death. Death. Yeah. It's like yeah. okay, yeah. You know what? I don't think I want that medication. Right. One of the side effects could be death. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's not safe. They're telling you that, right? Oh, absolutely. So. Yeah. But they have all the doctors brainwashed, and they give the doctors kickbacks for every time they like prescribe that med. Yeah. Yes, so you can see how it all works together. But oh yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a fuck. It's a clusterfuck. Yeah, it's a clusterfuck. Yeah. It's a vicious cycle, a vicious circle. Make them sick with the vaccine, so then they'll need this medication. Right. Or make them sick from something in the food. So they'll need this medication. Right. Make them sit for something in the water. So they'll need this medication. Yeah. Right. Sure. I mean, yeah. And then the the motherfucker Gates before this farming crap, he would act like this philanthropist and this humanitarian. He wants to help third world countries, right? Yeah, help he them goes die. Over there at his vaccine. And creates utter fucking havoc, commits genocide. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we thought you were going to help us, you know. Oh, oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. This guy needs to be stopped. Okay? Right. But he's got the full support of what whoever higher up there. Probably the queen. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know who his handler would be. Who knows? Yeah, the group or his up pole, his string puller, the cabal. Yeah, just the whole thing. He's yeah. 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 I mean, I'm surprised at how much people don't know about this stuff. Like, really, even 13 years later, after doing this show for 13 years, um. I'm still amazed at how many people out there are, like, clueless about so many things. Sure. And I get pissed off, <laughs> and I know I shouldn't, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I get kind of upset and, like, kind of a little irritated, because I'm like, how can you not fucking know that? Right. You know, like, w- <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I really don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, I just people don't know about uh, the Vegas shooting being a false flag. They don't think it was. You know, there's people out there really. It was a false flag. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like what? <laughs> you know, and then someone said they were shooting from the ground. Okay, mm-hmm. and someone says. Oh, I didn't know they were coming up from under the ground. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not what that means. <laughs> Shooting from the ground means there was shooters on the ground on their feet, not underground. <laughs> exactly. 
I don't get it how people can be so cool. I really don't. I mean, they must be consuming bad stuff or taking the big pharma meds and getting the flu shots and stuff. Of course. Because how can you be so coolest? That's a good question. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I, even now today, 13 years later, I'm asking the same question. Yeah. And no one wants to hear, no one wants to listen to you go against what they heard on the CNN or the mainstream media. No one wants to hear that. Because in their head, you know, if they said it on the mainstream media, well, then that's the story. That's what we should believe. Uh, right. That's what they That's what they try and convince you of. And people have fallen for it generation after generation. Yeah. And they're still doing it. And people are lining up to get this vaccine that's not really a vaccine. It's an mRNA inhibitor or whatever the fuck it is. It's not what they say it is. Okay? Yeah. It is not. Yeah, yeah, you know, when people criticize other people, oh, do your own research, what does that mean? It means don't just take my word for something, because I'm not some expert on anything, really. I'm just saying, think for yourself, instead of letting CNN make your decisions for you. Absolutely, I agree, 100%. I mean, you know, because if you, if you don't think CNN's, Lying to you, well, do more research, dig further, dig deeper. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know, but the information any about anything is out there. They operate in plain sight, these people. Okay? Sure. And sure. they're not even all fully people. Who knows? They could be half reptilian for all I fucking know. They could be <laughs> fucking aliens for all I fucking know. I don't know. I swear to God, Rumsfeld was a motherfucking alien, okay? Yeah, I think he's still alive, isn't he? Yeah, he's still alive. He's still like an alien. Well, those, rep like, no, those reptilians never die. I mean, you know. No, they don't. They live like like Cheney. He's got to be. Right? The queen. He, Kissinger the queen. has to be. The, the Kissinger queen. has to be fucking reptilian, dude. Yeah, and the queen obviously is. And, uh, right. They, they, he, Kissinger should be fucking dead, dude. And those Rothschilds. Other than just living forever and ever. It's like, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 something's up with that, okay? Sure, sure. And they have breeded. Okay. Yeah, interbred with humans. Yeah. They can interbreed with humans, and fucking all Diana was was a fucking womb for them. Yeah. So he, she could bear their spawn, right? Right. And then she, they didn't like her, so they killed her. Yeah, pretty much. Because she turned out to be, like, super popular. She, she wasn't following the plan. No, she was not. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is them. This is how evil they are. They they, they come across like, uh, they like you. They care about you. Oh, uh, yeah. No, they, they fucking don't. They love you. No, they do not. They, they want to eat your children. They want to do stuff to you that you don't want to be done to you. Yeah. I'll just say that. Yeah. Or your family. Right. And they've done it already. I mean, okay. Okay. So Operation Paperclip is proof that, you know, they sheltered Nazis here, dude. Right. They Thousands of them. Thousands, and they put them all in in big in government positions big, big, and stuff, big, big, and high powered positions. Sorry, yeah. technical technical science, all that stuff. Werner von Braun, yeah. NASA. Yeah. You ever wonder why NASA is called NASA? How close is that to Nazi? Come on now. <laughs> I mean, this isn't by accident, oh, you yeah. guys. <laughs> it, no, this is not. I mean. We're going really right down the rabbit hole here, but you know, once you go down, you don't. You, there's no coming back up. It. That's, that's the thing with the rabbit hole. Right. And, but you have to want to know. Yeah, Operation Paperclip. Yep. CT. It was right after World War Two. Yeah, right. Forty-five. And uh, the U.S. decided 
to give like 2,000 Nazis um, asylum here in this country. Well, everybody, every, four every, positions. Every, everybody was grabbing them. I mean, Russia got their share. Yeah, and... Russia got some. We got the U.S. got some. You, can, you, can you know, somewhat, now the fucking Hitler went down the goddamn Argentina. You, you can bet the U.K. that got decimated by by the Nazis. Uh, they probably got some. Yeah, you know? they, they don't care. They don't care about anything. No, well, they don't because they wanted their technology. Yeah. They they were afraid. I don't think the Russians did, Grim. Oh yeah. So they were afraid of the Russians. <laughs> supposedly. Uh, yeah. No, they they took some. Sure. They they having did. a nuke, right? Yeah, yeah. Or whatever, or whatever well, they were and, afraid and, of them doing. Well, no, they, they, they the, the Russians want. They got their share, and it helped them with their with their rocketry program as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, I see. So the the space race. Well, space race. Call it what you want. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, there's it, yeah. It's, it's the same launch vehicle, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I mean, this is real crap. Yeah. This isn't made up. Operation Paperclip. Look it up. Look I don't know what up. else to tell you. you know, it, it's significant to me. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it. a uh, I'm gonna give a uh, a PSA here. Uh oh. Okay. Pu- public service announcement. All right. Uh, I hope you're listening, Donna. This may be important to you at some point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The other day, after I was after I was doing the uh, the uh, silicone talking there in the, in the bathroom, um, yeah. I wound up with a with a bunch of that stuff on my hands. Yeah, ooh, yeah. And and, and it wasn't come off. I tried all kinds of stuff. I, I so like I super did. glue. What? Like super glue. Well, except to cover, uh, you know, it just that white stuff is just all. Anyway, right. yeah. <laughs> so I came in here to find and looked on the interwebs, typed in with my sticky ass fingers. <laughs> To, to 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 try and find out how the hell does this crap come off, and so I came across this article: how to remove mm-hmm. cock, how to remove cock from your hands. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> so if, if you if you ever get a cock stuck in your hands, <laughs> <laughs> all you need to do is is you, you spread butter across your hands and you and you rub the butter in, then okay. then, then you then you put some baking soda on there. And rub that in, and it comes right off. It comes right off. But I tried. I tried cool. all. I tried all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I tried all kinds of various. Huh. You know, I, I have that simple green hand cleaner, like you know, yep. from, from yep. mechanics that didn't do nothing. Uh, I tried. <laughs> oh, I tried Dawn, Dawn soap that didn't work. I tried Comet that didn't work. Really? Yeah. Dawn soap didn't work. That's weird. Yeah. So, so butter and baking soda. So okay. So Good it's to it. know. It says here for any stubborn cock that remains. <laughs> anyway, I just want I just wanted to to uh, to. And C A U L K. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I have different advice for the other way it's spelled. Okay. Yeah. If you if you don't know how to get yeah. if you don't know how to get the cock out of your hands or off your hands. Right, and you need. <laughs> 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 oh, let me tell you too, boy. By the way, after after cleaning that stuff off my hands using that yeah. that that solution, my hands mm-hmm. were so smooth. smooth. Ooh, smooth. Yeah, yeah. What if coconut? Well, no, coconut oil probably might have worked too. It, well, it might have, but I just I just read this article here. It's from right. Lowe's. It's from You're Lowe's. Like, Give it a try, right? It's actually from Lowe's dot com. So it's you know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um. Don't put butter on burns, though. Apparently, apparently there's also uh, some kind of uh, commercial cock remover. <laughs> commercial cock remover? Really? Yeah. I might need one of them. Yeah, if you got any, uh, you know, <laughs> industrial strength cock. Coming, I'm kidding. Coming at okay. you. If you got any... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Oh, I didn't. Anyway. I, I didn't. Sa- I didn't save the link. I should have saved the link. Um, right. uh, Circle sent me a link. Um, yeah, you remember some time ago we talked about Gwyneth Paltrow and how she yes. she she made these candles yeah. that that are that, <laughs> that, that, that that smell like her pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, apparently, 
Her vagina. Great. Whatever. For pussy vagina. <laughs> All right, so uh, apparently one of them blew up somewhere and, and spread their, sp- spread her pussy smell all over this woman's house. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so so her whole her whole house. I, I'm not really that familiar with Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, I, I, I She's just an actress. She's I know. Nothing. I, I, I know she was in some movie that I saw at some point. She's but... been in a movie. She's an actress. No, I don't want to cancel KBRC. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, but no, the the thing about this though, the motherfucking candle costs seventy five goddamn dollars. Oh, Donna! Who's gonna pay seventy five dollars for a goddamn vagina smell of candle? I I don't know. I, I uh... like really. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is fucking wrong with you? Yeah. To even buy that thing in the first place. Come on now, come on, man. See, see, Donna's a pro. She she's never had an issue getting a cock off. Okay, well that's a good. Uh, I Not, oh, haven't yeah. either, but you never know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All right, enough of that. All right, we're cock. in the gutter now. We're yeah. off the rails. Uh, enough of that yeah. cock and pussy stuff. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, you, I have malware bites. I have malware bites. Other yeah. other folks out there have malware bites. Uh-huh. ZDNet.com malware bites said it was hacked by the same group that breached solar winds. So malware bites became the fourth major security firm targeted by attackers after Microsoft FireEye and CrowdStrike. Um uh, however, and you can read through this if you want to. Um, but the thing about it is, it comes down to the end, and it says malware bites products are not affected. Um, oh, now, good. Yeah, yeah. So I, it, it doesn't say anything about their database being breached. Uh, so okay. um, probably uh, if you have your information online with them, it's not something you need to worry about. Um, uh, but but they were they were hacked, and, and malware bites is very upfront about these kind of things. They always. Uh, come right out with it and, and tell you if anything bad happens. Um, I love malware bytes personally for Windows computers. Yeah. Um, obviously, you, obviously you don't need it for, for Linux. Um, but uh, Hal was talking about some some uh, nastiness going on on Linux, uh, people trying to uh, get in there and affect your Linux systems. But I'm safe on that. Huh. So, um, yeah, if you if you missed it last week, just go look at Hal's uh, blogcaster from last week, and and uh, he'll tell you all about it. But malware bytes. This is on ZDNet.com. Uh, what well, was indeed hacked? Um, uh, the, the same people that you know. I wow. Guess, I, the same people, I guess that that rigged the election, right? Yep. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know. You know, you're taking a chance, even with the VPN. I don't, you oh, know. yeah, I mean, absolutely. Because, you know, crap comes in through your email, you click, click the wrong fucking link, and, and you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so, yeah. Uh, I'll always check the source before you click a link. Um, right. And you could do that easily enough, at least in Thunderbird, I imagine, also in, in Outlook, but uh, whatever other email clients you may have. If you hover your cursor over the link at the bottom a corner of the screen there to show you where what that email goes to, and it's not if it's not from the. You're best off not clicking any links in the email and just going directly to the source uh, of something. Right. If it says you know we have an update or we have whatever, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you're better off going that direction with it. Um, so, yeah. A- anyway, so uh, yeah, you're you're still safe with your malware bytes. Um, but uh, yeah, they they like going after tech companies because they're wow, uh, you know, yeah, they do protected or whatever. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So, <sighs> um, do I hear music? Do you? What is that? I don't. I don't hear it. It's not. I think it's not here. It must be on your end somewhere. Huh. Okay. Wait, That's maybe, okay. Wait, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Discover. Uh-oh. Discovery in Space. FM radio signal coming from Jupiter's moon Ganymede. All right. (laughs) 
<laughs> so I wonder what they're playing over there on Ganymede. What uh, if they're rock and rollers on Ganymede? Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, if it is. <laughs> the, the Juno spacecraft orbiting Jupiter has discovered an FM radio signal coming from the moon Ganymede. The, what? An FM signal? An FM signal? Yeah, FM. <laughs> what? No static at all. <laughs> wow. Crazy. <laughs> The find is a first-time detection from the moon. Patrick Wiggins of NASA, Nazi, uh, ambassadors, yeah. ambassadors to Utah say it's not E.T. It's more of a natural function. Uh, Juno is traveling across the polar region of Jupiter where magnetic fields lines connect to Ganymede. Uh, and when it crossed the radio source, scientifically, uh, it's called a decametric radio emission. Here on Earth, we know it as Wi-Fi, and we use it every day. Uh, uh, so they've got FM, they got Wi-Fi. They're happening over there on good old Ganymede. Um, <laughs> according to Britannica.com, Jupiter's radio emissions were discovered in 1955, and over the last 66 years, more and more discoveries have been made about how the signals work. Uh, Wiggins said a member of the Salt Lake Astronomical Society once built an amateur radio telescope that could detect the electromagnetic radiation from Jupiter. Juno's mission uh, is to study how the planet Jupiter formed and how it evolved according to NASA, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they found a radio signal there. They're playing, I guess they're playing Steely Dan. Um, no. Really? Yeah, they're playing that song, FM. FM. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No static at all. That's an onion piece or Babylonian piece. No, no, it's it's on mysterywire.com. Um, what? Mysterywire. Mysterywire.com. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, sure about that one. Oh, they got links to some some ABC4 okay. from abc4.com. Okay. So, you know, it goes off to those mainstream things if that's what you want to believe in. No, no. Yeah, no. so so there's that. All right, we're playing more. <laughs> we're, 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 we're playing more music here. All righty, let's do that. And I know you like this song. All righty. Cool. I know you dig this song. I know it's one of your favorite all-time songs. <laughs> Let it skid it. <laughs> oh, that's some great stuff right there. Uh, Bill, one of Bill McClintock's mashups. Uh, James Hetfield and the News. Hip to be the Sandman. Yeah, it's a Metallica and uh, Huey Lewis in the news uh, m m mashed up together there. Uh, that was a great, great little mashup. I, I, I love that stuff. <laughs> anyway, before that, we had uh, uh, Beth, uh, Beth Hart. I can't hear you. What that? What? You hear? Hello? All right. Anyway, before that, we had Beth, Beth Hart and Joe Bonamassa uh, doing Tom Waits' Chocolate Jesus. And we kicked it off with uh, a, 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 what do you, what do you call it? Oh, that was Beth and Joe with a musical request, by the way. And uh, kicking it off there was the Cowboy Tech request, Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was a great mash up there. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a fan of mash ups. So oh, that was, that was, that was, that was. That was that was good. That it was... didn't sound right to me. I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> this well, is dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. It, what was it, it Enter Sandman and Hip to Be Square? Yeah. Really? Come on. <laughs> it was good. I don't uh, like it. I'm not a fan. Oh, uh, well, you know me. I'm just saying. I don't like the mashup stuff. I don't know. You know me. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm I'm a like, dork. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I, you know, like I said, you know me. I, I like, I like the darky kind of stuff like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dweeb. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you just made me cough, dude. I, I made you cough. Yeah, you did. I had to mute. How did I do that? I don't know. It just happened. <laughs> it right. happens. All right. All right. I guess if I can do that from 2,000 miles away or however far it is. <laughs> Not like that. Nothing like uh, Nothing weird. Stop that. Well, let's see here. But I don't know, man. I think that 
Like my grandmother's, my grandmother, my mom's mom grew up on a farm. Uh huh. My dad's, my mom's dad grew up on a farm. And that's only two generations removed, right? Right. Like we know how to do this stuff. To, right. To, to grow food, you mean? Yeah, farm. Yeah. We should. Some people be like, I don't have the first clue of what to do. Like really? It's yeah. not the, It's not rocket science. I mean, it's not easy work. I'm not saying it's easy. Right. But um, it can be done. I mean, sure. the pioneers did it. And they had to go through some, like, rough stuff, dude. Like, locust attacks, like, wipe out your whole crop, right? Right. And that was your, like, what you depend needed to live on. Sure. And it happened, like, two years in a row. Like the Laurel Ingalls Wilder family, you know? Right, right. The uh, Little House on the Prairie family. Yeah. And uh, they had to move a lot because of this. Um, well, that's <laughs> not a bad thing, MGC. That's a good thing. Yeah. I would, I would suggest continue doing that. That's a, that's, um, a, that's a cash crop for sure. Everyone needs that. We need that too. <laughs> so whatever you're good at growing, just you have at it now. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying, generationally, we're not that far removed from farming. You know, from when people had a family farm and they grew their own food and they had their own livestock and they had their own chickens and they they did um, canning of their crops and everything so they could live through the winter. Because I'm from Minnesota, Minnesota, don't you know? And um, you had to do that to survive the winter in Wisconsin and yeah. Minnesota back yeah. in, in the 1800s or whatever it was, you know, 1860s or whatever, you know. Uh -huh. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy work. And they were like the groundbreakers, you know. Um, and they had to use plow and horse. They didn't have tractors and combines and all that crap, right? Yeah. They basically did it all by hand. Um, if you were lucky enough to have a horse or an ox, you know what I mean? Sure, sure. Those were expensive. You could not, not everybody had that. Yeah. Right. I mean, it was tough, but they lived off the land, and then they'd have, like, a town where, let's say you wanted some of this farmer's corn, but he wanted some of your wheat. So you'd make a deal, right? trade I mean it can be done right and we have to I think stand up against this corporate crap and this this food they want this franken food they want us to fucking eat you know what the fuck is that mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know okay I don't know if you remember this or not. I think this was during mm -hmm. the, uh, the Democratic campaign stuff, you know, before they decided okay. decided yeah. which idiot. And I, for some reason, I thought this was Biden that said this, but it was Mike Bloomberg. Okay. He says, anybody, even people in this room, can be a farmer. Uh, Bloomberg told a group of uh, University of Oxford mm -hmm. students in 2016, uh, it's a process. You dig a hole, you put a seed in it, you put dirt on, dirt on top, add water, and up comes the corn. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like, really? Right, dude. Really? <laughs> That's simplifying it to the nth degree. Oh yeah, yeah, just another idiot politician. You gotta have good soil. You gotta have good dirt. You gotta, you know, if you have bugs, you gotta know how to deal with it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You gotta know what you're doing to a point. Yeah. For, for some reason, I thought that was Biden, and I was gonna make fun of Biden, but oh, okay. I, I could make fun of Bloomberg just as easy. Right. Right. He's a douche too. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, just throw some seeds out there and you got a farm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, so apparently um, Biden won, but, like, when he was running. He didn't win. Like, wasn't, like, B no, he didn't really run, but wasn't BLM and Antifa, like, pro-Biden? Well, uh, they, they, they. They seemed like they were to me. I don't know. Well, uh, they, they seemed to be anti-Trump. 
It's yeah. That's but what I, I thought. They were anti-Trump, so they were for Biden, right? Yeah, see, but that that that's a misnomer. And the right? and the the Democrats downplayed BLM and anti spas what they were doing all well, summer and, long. They and, downplayed and, it. The and Democrats. Since, and since they were doing it all in Democratic cities, you know. Right. The, the Democrats were like trying to poo-poo the whole thing, right? Yeah. Well, guess what? Biden won, right? Right. Biden got inaugurated, right? Right. Guess what they decided to do? Destroy the Oregon, the Portland, Oregon Democratic headquarters. Right. So they're still not happy. No, they. they okay. uh, well, they're I, they're not happy, dude. Well, what did I what did I say? They said we're we are ungovernable. That was one of the things that signs they were holding up. It's like, okay, you motherfuckers, what the fuck do you want then? I don't think they fucking know. Yeah, well, they, they, they just go to fucking do this shit. They don't even know what the fuck they stand for, really. They're just like, oh, let's go do this. That sounds like fun. Really? Yeah, they just like to destroy shit. It's disingenuous, okay? It I'm is. not taking them seriously at all. I never have. Good. I mean, you're like, what are you guys doing? You're you're against Trump, but when the the Democrat wins, you're still pissed. Right. Uh, what do you want? You know, uh, someone needs to find out what the fuck they actually want, dude. Uh, I think they want the, the destruction of everything. They want to destroy. They like destroying. Right. Well, it doesn't. Uh... But, okay, so there's a difference between BLM and Antifa, right? Sure. There is there. I sure. mean, to me, there is because... I, I mean, they're pro probably both backed by the same people, but... Um, right. Yeah, but, it, yeah. it gets confused. The line gets kind of blurry there, though. You know what I mean? When they're... Well, because they all they all group together with, during the right, riot. Right, they group together, so, like, they're one of the same. Yeah. But to they, me. But they, but they uh, apparently, I guess, want different things. I don't know. Not that you can figure out what, you, what, what whatever right. either one is, but apparently they they want different things. And well, I, I don't know. I don't think they know what the fuck they want, dude. They just, like you said, they just like to go out there and destroy stuff, or you know. That's what it seems. That's 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 all I could figure. And, I don't I I don't know. <sighs> and and so, um, you know, right. the, these various cities they they uh, step down or back down. Um, uh, right. to, so that the BLM people can have their way, and and the Antifa people take 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 control of it. Um, right. So yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I I I'm not I'm not really into all that crap. Um, no, but I mean the stuff going on in Portland that's been going on for a year. Yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. They're allowing it to go on, Grim. Sure. That's what how I see it. Yeah. Well, here's a, here's something that's not a, related to that, but okay. uh, apparently, I mean, it seems like if everybody, all the different uh, cop shops around the nation did this, and uh, maybe maybe it would make a difference. I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Atlanta. This is on uh, free thought, the free thought project dot com. Uh, Atlanta police make monumental move, disband entire drug unit to focus on actual crime. Uh, <laughs> so, wow. In one of the most revolutionary moves we've reported on to date, the Atlanta Police Department announced this week that they are disbanding their narcotics unit so they can fight actual violent crime which I, I would say that would include burning down buildings and shit, right? Um, yeah, you would uh, think. That's uh, arson. Right. And, you know, all that rioting and looting and crap. So this move is both revolutionary and heartening and is another nail in the war on drugs coffin. According to a report from WSB-TV Atlanta, uh, the massive change was confirmed on Tuesday. The department confirmed with WSB-TV reporter Mark Winnie uh, noting that all the officers in the drug unit will be assigned to other areas. In a statement, the department told, told Winnie, uh, we know that the alleged narcotics trade is often at the center of criminal activity fueled by guns and gangs. The department is decentralizing its narcotics unit in recognition of the violence, uh, that the violence that surrounds this trade 
should be the focus of the entire department, not just one team. We've had tremendous success at targeting the sale of illegal narcotics by targeting violent criminals and getting illegally possessed guns off the streets. Violent crime and gang activity must be the department's uh, primary focus and where we will have a greater impact on the crimes affecting those most often victimized in our communities. So imagine that. Instead of focusing their efforts on kicking in doors in the middle of the night over people possessing a plant, Atlanta cops will focus on stopping actual violence against the citizens. Huge. Huge. That's good. Yeah. uh, Naturally, the cops who make a living kicking in doors and confiscating money, drugs, and property from those drug dealers with all their expensive militarized gear aren't real happy. Did I drop? I'm off of... Are you still there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just got dropped off IRC. Um, All right. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'll I'll be back in a second. (laughs) So, it says absolutely. Am I still still on? Yeah, still broadcasting. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Great. I'll just make sure we're still broadcasting. Anyway, so so that's cool that uh, that that would happen. Hopefully, that's a a thing that spreads around the, the country. Uh, so they quit going after you for, you know, having a joint in your pocket or whatever. Yeah, that's that would be good. You know, they waste so much time with this petty stuff. Right. So. I mean, really to, like, bust somebody for arson and let them go the same day, you're fucking insane. Well, they need a break. Okay, if they're yeah. up there burning a building down, why the fuck would you let them go do it more? Uh, you know, usually it's you, you get held, you know, until your trial, until your pre-hearing or whatever the fuck they call it, you know? Right. You don't get off easy, you know? Yeah, no. There you are. There you are. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. All right. As, as nine. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, these next two stories, they tie together. Okay. And you got a little bit kind of wonder what's going on, but I think everybody pretty much knows it's a uh, precursor to the reset. Um, mm-hmm. And one, one article from Reuters, uh, spend as much as you can, IMF head urges governments worldwide. Uh, the other article is on Forbes, Janet Yellen wants lawmakers to act big on stimulus. So they're, they're both saying the same thing, IMF and, and Janet Yellen, of course. They're kind of one and the same. But um, uh, what they're saying is is spend just spend as much as you can. Put, uh, put as much fake money out there as possible so you can destroy the, you know, destroy the currencies faster. Right. Uh, that, that's not, you know, what their, their stated reason, uh, but, 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 but that's the obvious reason behind it all. Is is they they want right. uh, they, they want to destroy all you know all, all of the fiat currencies that are out there so they can replace it with their own, uh, which the IMF it's the SDRs the uh, in uh, with, with the Yellen it's the U.S. dollar, um, uh, so it, it's 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 just it's weird, but it's very not weird. I mean, if you on the surface if you look at it, it's weird, right? Um, yeah, but but if you but if you but if you look at it uh, deeper, um, mm-hmm. and, and understand what's going on, I mean it's all connected. Uh, this, yep. This, this whole Corona nonsense. Right. Uh, and, and, um, and all about control. And now and now the, the the global banksters saying, hey, you pump as much money out there into the world as possible. Just just, right. just keep on watering down your currency. Uh, until until it's absolutely worthless everywhere, um, and that, that's what the IMF is suggesting for for uh, for for, uh, for countries worldwide. They want all of the, all of the uh, yeah the, the global banks to to do this, um, and 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 Yellen of course focused on the U.S. Uh, that that's her goal is to basically just destroy the currency. Uh, so so I forget whose people here were talking about the uh, uh, you know. Well, I get a million dollars, or it might have been you said it. It doesn't cost me a million dollars for. I'm not a no millionaire. 
And Great, I, I'm not. And I said, well, well, you're going to be. Uh, <laughs> no, gonna... I'm not going to be a millionaire. They oh. won't let that happen. Oh, they absolutely... They'll give you just enough to fucking string you along, Grim. Well, it's got to, it says when it's, when it's costing you $100 for a loaf of bread, um, you'd be, you better be a freaking millionaire. Well, yeah, you better uh, be. It so, costs 100 bucks for a loaf of bread, you bet. Right, so, so you, uh, that's, that's why I made that comment in the chat, you're going to be, um, because this is their plan. This is this is their their goal is to absolutely destroy uh, all all of the current currencies that are in line, so they can be replaced yeah. replaced with whatever uh, the IMF and the World Economic Forum and uh, the Federal Decide. Federal Reserve. Well, well, they've already decided. They've already got it in the works. Um, whether it, whether it's digital crypto kind of stuff, or or, or whether it's something totally different. Um, that that's what they want is they want to make sure that any any money that you have is totally worthless and that you'll be begging for for some replacement to come along just like right. just like they they convinced everybody that this corona crap uh, uh you mm -hmm. know is why they had to shut everything down why they have to right. destroy the economy of the whole world and, and now uh so that they so they could pump that poisonous vaccine into you so yep. it, and, it's not and, even a vaccine, though. No, no, it's, no, it's I, not. I it's hate not. other people are calling it that. I, I, I know. It's I, not. It's not. But but it's the same kind of thing. Is uh, it just just like your money's not money. <laughs> right. It's fake. It's a promissory sure. note. But but, it's it, not, but but this you know. is all part of the same big plan. It's yep. It, it's all it's all it's all freaking connected, man. Um, yeah, it is. And and, and I, don't, I don't know how else you can uh, uh, go about saying that, but 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 there's no doubt about it. That this is their goal. This is their. their it's in motion. They're doing it right. It's, it's, it's their end, It's their end game, and there's a whole bunch. It's not of, coming. It's happening now. Yeah, it's happening now. There's 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 many many tentacles to this freaking monster. Um, I don't. Yep. You, ever, you ever see that picture? It was a, a drawing somewhere like big octopus. Uh, yep. Co covering over the the White House and the. Yeah, I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Each each arm is labeled with a different. Uh, uh, yeah, economic controller. Um, yeah, exactly. Of the world. So uh, this, so it's happening. The, it, it, people thinking, well, when we get back to normal, ain't happening. Ain't no, happening. You guys are disillusioned. There ain't no back to normal. And this, when we this, go back after everyone's vaccinated. We'll go back to how it used to be. It's like, no, you guys are clueless. You have no clue what is coming for you. And in a, I made this this comment to Zach this week. I said, all these people that are all j jumping for joy because their guy Biden got in as president in a year from now, they're going to be singing a different tune. The pedo didn't. In a year from now. And I already predicted that Biden would last a full year. And we have a pool, pool going or whatever, and I picked June. Because I said he won't make it a whole year. Right. So I went through the middle of the year, but who knows who's right on that one. But... um. Yeah, I said after his first hundred days. Which is what, May? May, yes, May. Okay. May 1st, well, actually. Well, I have June, so <laughs> we'll so, see who's right there, Graham. May, right. We're probably both around. Who knows, but. Uh, May May 1st, it's May Day. That, that's right. A, that, that's a big socialist day. Yep. Yeah, so that, that'd be a great time for them to roll in whatever. They, they, love, the, they love their numbers and. I was thinking June 6th. Oh, for D-Day? No, June 6th, 6th, and then he'll die at 6 a.m. Oh, okay. Is that June, 6 and 6, June, June, <laughs> June, June 6th is D-Day, though, right? Uh, No. Isn't that June 2nd? No, it's, I'm pretty sure it's June 6th. I'll look it up. D-Day. Right. June 7th. June 7th. No, June 4th. June 4th. June 4th. Oh, wait, no, you're right. June 6th, 1944. <laughs> All right, that's what I saw. Yep. Yeah, you're right. June right. 6th. So, so that's that's a good symbolic day that's as well. That's a good day. Good, six, good, six. Good, good, good symbol. May 1st is a great symbolic day. June 6th, great symbolic day. 9-11 is yeah. a great symbolic day. Um, right. So. Someone should pick 9-11. Yeah, someone should or pick 9-11. September, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I seriously don't. How can the man, he... he I, I watched a little bit of him his speech today. Yeah, he's still off to lunch, dude. He, oh yeah. He, 
he repeats stuff that's on the teleprompter. He, he, he's, he's not good, dude. I, 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 I saw him yelling, come on, man, at some reporter yesterday, so. I saw that, too, yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, really? Come yeah, on, that's man. That's the thing that he says, President Corn Pop. <laughs> he's a bad dude. Peddled it, peddled it. Peddled it, peddled it, Biden. <laughs> and, I mean, I don't even want to talk. I'm not going to even talk about Hunter. He's just a piece of shit. Oh, he, 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 he is. He's arrested, put in jail. He, he's as bad as Epstein any day. Oh, he's as bad. He's bad. Like, he's really creepy and slimy. Like, really? I mean, it was weird because I saw little clips of the of the inauguration. Yeah. And they were at the uh, Arlington Cemetery at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, right? Yeah. And they're all waiting for Creepy Joe and Rick Camelco to come out, right? Yeah. And they were waiting for a while. Okay. But anyway, they got, like, Biden's grandkids all in one group, which is, like, ten mm-hmm. kids, ten people, you know. And then they got, like, Ashley and her husband... And then over on the side, they got Hunter standing all by himself. <laughs> I thought that was telling. They're like, you just stand over there by yourself. <laughs> no, Nobody wants to be near him. No one. Right. He was literally standing see, there just by himself. See, at, at least at least Epstein went after, like, you know, 13, 14-year-olds. And just freaking Hunter, he goes after six-year-olds. Yeah, he's he's gross. He's, he's disgusting, he is. He's, he's, a nasty, mean, he's a nasty little Yeah, he's nasty. beyond... Beyond sick, dude. Yeah. 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 But, um, it's just like, the show was bad. Like, it was, it seemed really fakey to me. And everyone was comparing it to Hunger Games. Right. And how there's a scene in one of the Hunger Games where, it, like, the chairs are all set up like they were. And then you get Lady Gaga. Oh. Coming out with this fancy costume and this big old fucking Mockingjay pin, which is from Hunger Games, dude. It's a seriously a symbol of that book, that series of books, right? The Mockingjay, it's like a symbol. Okay. And she's got this, and this thing's big. It's not like a small little brooch. It's like huge. She wanted to make sure and people like, saw it. Right, right. And it's like, okay. Then you got big, you got, okay. And then... During the uh, the one part, the Arlington part, I think it was, you had, and I don't know where this one was, but you had George Bush and Laura Bush, you had Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, and this isn't the order they were in, and you had Obama and Big Mike. Okay. And seriously, at that point in time, beside any of the, the, the Marines that were around, All right. who do you think the biggest person was on that freaking stage, or that, where, that whatever you call it? Who do you think the biggest person was? Michelle. Yep. Yes, he was. <laughs> and you can tell because, and I made the comment that he wears flats. Yeah. He can't wear heels. For one thing, they don't fit his fucking wide feet. They don't make heels for. Well, I, I'm sure okay? with all with all their money, they could have custom shoes made. But, but still, dude, he was like a football player. Yeah. He's got his his lower half is like a football player, right? Right. So his feet, he can't walk in the heels. He, yeah. he can't. It, it, it looks ridiculous. Okay. Okay. So he has to wear flats. And for one thing, he's the tallest one there. Uh-huh. So he has to like appear not towering over the other one. You know what I mean? Right, right. I mean, the dude's huge. Yeah. yeah. And if that's really a woman, that's an Amazon woman, okay? And I know that's not a woman. Well, I know they, they, are, they are out there that are, I mean, look at, look, right. look at Grace. Oh, there are some big look, women out there. I'm look, not saying, yeah. Yeah, look, I mean, just look at Grace Jones. I mean, she, right. She, or or uh, Zena. What was her name? Uh, um. Whatever. Her. Uh, she's yeah. huge. She's she's huge too. Uh, and then there's that Bridget, um, Brigitte Bar- um, Nielsen that was married. Yeah, she's a big lady. She's a big boy. Oh, she's like yeah. an Amazon woman. Yeah, or or Jane Lynch. How big is Jane Lynch, man? She's she's fucking... she's pretty tall. But then you have that one that you probably you didn't watch Game of Thrones, but there's this one uh, blonde lady, and she plays like a knight, but she and she's very like a dude, but she's a woman. It's, yeah. She's actually a woman. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they, but, they are out there. I mean, there are <laughs> very large. Yeah, but uh, I mean, some of them, you know, they, they still look very feminine. Uh, some of them. Uh, right, but Big Mike pulls it off pretty good with their wigs and his wigs and shit. It might be real hair. I made a comment. His hair looks nice today. Yeah, they might, they, 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 it might be real hair. We don't know. No, it's a wig. Okay. Yeah, dudes, yeah, he had, yeah, I, you know, I don't, I don't care what your sexuality is, I just want to make this clear, I don't give a fuck if you're gay, if you're not gay, if you're bi, I don't care. Yeah. But don't lie to me, and, and act like you're not that, don't pre- present yourself as a heterosexual couple with two daughters that you're saying they're your kids, when we all know they're not. Right, right. Because we know that Michael is Michelle, and we've seen pictures of you guys in the past when Michael wasn't Michelle. Yeah. And um, we've, there's not a picture of Michelle pregnant. If there was, it would be a Photoshop. There's no pictures of her pregnant. They bought those kids, bro. You yeah. make it look like there's a Christian heterosexual family, right? Yeah. Well, for one thing, they're not Christian because they're Muslim. Right. Um, the other thing, they're they're two dudes. Well, wait, so wait, they did wait, not wait, have wait, kids wait. together. Wait, 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 wait. They're Muslim. Isn't that the term? Well, no, I, I it is a term, but if they're Muslim, then then they, they I mean that. But that's... they live in the U.S. It, they got around it. That's how you get around it. You can oh, be a Muslim okay. and be gay as long as you're in the U.S., dude. All right. Yeah, you, 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 and plus, really, they're not gay, right? That's really a woman, right? Michelle oh, is yeah. really a woman. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, right, mm-hmm. right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, so that's right. how they got around that loophole. Yeah. But I, that's what I don't like about it, is the deception part of it. Oh, sure, it's sure. It's like, if you're married to a dude, whatever, but you know he wouldn't have gotten elected as a president. No one would have accepted that, dude. Exactly. They, they're not ready for that. Yeah, yeah. They're not ready for Mr. and Mr. No. In the White House yet. No. You know. Sure. All right, we're going to play some more music here. All right, let's do that. I don't know how I got on that one, but... I don't either, I just, but... Because Big Mike was at the inauguration, and yeah. she was, he, she was literally the tallest, biggest person in that uh, group of people they were showing. You know right, what I mean? I'm right. like, the tallest person out there is Michelle. Big sure. Mike. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, then. Enjoy, everyone. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, CDC. Yeah, baby. JMFB. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe motherfucking Bonabasa. That's called Look Out, Man. That's off of his uh, new album, I do believe. Uh, I thought that was on Redemption. Oh, no, it's on Royalty. Okay, uh, so check it out, Royalty. Uh, get that, man. Yeah, check it out. Uh, before that, we had uh, Steve Miller. The Joker for Cowboy Tech there. The Joker, Smoker, Midnight Toker. And we I can kicked, relate. And we kicked it off with ACDC off of their new one. It's called Realize. Well, the, the album's called Power Up, but the uh, track was called Realize. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. JMFB, baby. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> yep, I like it for Joey B. Oh, yeah. Joey motherfucking bottom also. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, that's a good one, Grim. Good one. Good name. Wish I would have thought of it, but no, ah, you did. Oh, whatever. That's fine. Same, that's cool. Same, 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 same difference. Right. But um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, I don't know how it's going to happen, but um, I think farming needs to make a comeback. Like, not this Harvey's hobby farm crap. Like, bigger than a hobby farm. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, you know, if you're going to grow it. Whatever works for you, I guess. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, where I live right now, let's just say whatever happens, right, happens. And where I live right now. Yeah. Like, there's three houses in a row. 
and then behind my the boundary of my backyard, which isn't very deep, behind the garage, there's a huge field back there. Like, but it's kind of there's apple trees and stuff back there. Right. But it's not huge, huge. It's it's less than an acre. It, it, it. But there could be some gardens planted in there. Okay. In that back field. So, but I don't own that part. The neighbors' two houses down do. But what we could do is, like, work together as neighbors. Yeah. And have a garden back there. You know what I mean? Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I mean, I could just, like, go door to door to each, you know, these four houses in a row, like my neighbor Sue, then the lady and her son next door, and then the family that owns the field. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just, like, say, hey, we're going to put a fucking garden, and we'll all split whatever we get out of it, you know? Right. But yeah. I think it's going to come, like, remember back in World War II, Graham, when they had people doing victory gardens and stuff? Sure. That's why they were doing it, because people were starving. <sighs> right. Well, it's, it's just better. That way you got your own food, your fresh food. Right. Yeah, so, uh, right. Yep. I mean, I made a comment. In the chat last week, someone said something, and it was like something about Germany, and they were putting, um, yeah, I'm going to do that, MJC. Excellent. Yeah, we we I get along with all these neighbors, so it's not like, you know. But anyway, um, I made the comment of good, and I was being sarcastic, good thing history doesn't repeat itself, because they were <laughs> talking about putting people in Germany in camps or whatever, COVID camps or something. I don't know. Right. But I'm like, okay, you know, history repeats itself, people. Think about it. You know, yeah. maybe, you know, the tactics have not changed that the technology has. Sure. But they're still using the same playbook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They have better technology, though. So we're even in a worse position than then, if you can even imagine that. And I hate, you know, I'm not trying to be a fear monger or anything, but this isn't looking good. No, no. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know. They want to fucking jack up. They want to give us all this free money to help us out, quote, unquote. But that's going to make the fucking prices of everything inflate and go up, which means inflate means inflating, right? Right. And there's, it's going to be bad. I, for lack of a better word right now, bad, okay? Yeah. And they make these promises, and you should know this by now, that they make promises, but they do not keep them. And one thing that I've learned is if they say something like, go get the, uh, yeah, I saw that, MJC. Clyde talked about that, and I did see a picture of it. Yeah. But, um. And Cowboy Tech, you, you probably have to ask Flash about that, all my life's a circle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, I mean, okay. It started with the Germany. It, they they started banning books and burning books and everything. It was just you guys, and then the mask thing. Right. And like, it's just also correlates that you can't even like deny it hardly. Yeah. I mean, if you knew the history. Of Nazi Germany, and I'm not like an expert, but I know a lot of it. It's it's a lot of the same things. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the banning of books, and, and like the the banning of Twitter and everything, and oh. banning all these people off Twitter and on Facebook and all that. That's just like burning books, dude. Uh, Harry Chapin. Okay. I'm chipping. No, no, I, Harry Chapin. That's the song. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love Harry Chapin. Um, but anyway, um, don't you agree, Graham? Like the banning of the media, like it, it's like burning books, dude. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, we're at that level. We are. We, I, I, we are at that point right now. Absolutely. So that'll be. And, and the whole YouTube thing. Oh my God. Yeah, the I censorship know. is out of. The, this is the worst censorship I've ever seen in my whole fucking life that I've been here this, yeah. this time. Oh, it's crazy. It's absolutely it's insane. It's the worst, dude. It's worse than World War II. Oh, sure, sure. It's it's definitely a tactic, and they used it. Yeah. 
All right, we got to do, I mean, we yeah. we do our last set here. Okay, let's do that. And uh, that, you know, take take Moose's words into in, in heart there. It's a very, very important, very important. Uh, make sure you know how to grow food, and if you need help with, from other people, get it. Right, exactly. Yep. All right, this is Leo's release from today. It's called The Wellerman. It's an All old, right. old New Zealand folk song. All right. Bam! Yeah, that's spider bait there, Black Betty. I'm not sure what that movie is that they're uh, uh, that, that that was in that. They, anyway, uh, spider bait, Black Betty. Uh, before that, we had uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, CCR, doing "Long as I Can See the Light," and we kicked it off with Leo Maraccioli there, The Wellerman, just released today. Ah, oh, good stuff, good stuff. Don't you know? Don't you know? <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna wrap yeah. it up. Yeah, that's that, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up here for us. Uh, no, it's a whopping three degrees here right now. Woo! Point one. Woo! Yeah, we, we got like thirty six here, so. Yeah, it's supposed to warm up and snow tomorrow, so I'm not worried about it. But thanks everyone for tuning in. It's been real. It's been fun. And it's yeah, been real cool. fun. All right, yeah, so, yeah, fun. thanks, thanks everybody for tuning in. Appreciate y'all being here. Come on back yep. to RLM all the time. And uh, that's, I guess that's it, I guess. I guess yeah, it, 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 don't be a stranger. The chat room is going all the time, like 24-7, 365. You can be stranger, but don't be a stranger. Right, you can be, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, everyone, thanks all. Yeah, 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 we'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Peace.